Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. So there is one thing that I forgot to mention and that has to do with the way that we hold the input that we receive uh, on the astral plane. Um, you know, a year or two ago, uh, some of the very great Ascension counselors mentioned that that we're now expanding as humankind out into the astral plane and that the experiences that we will encounter depend entirely on our own emotional um, framework. So uh, on a bad day we could be hanging out with some very negative emotions and on a good day with some very positive emotions and our experience of the astral plane on these days would be very very different you see and so it's completely up to us how we experience the astral plane um, and the the emotions of appreciation and uh, gratitude and joy that we if we're able to manufacture these emotions and create them consciously within us these emotions um, purify and rarefy our astral matter that portion of our hologram that's less dense than the physical and more dense than the body of light and so this segment of energy is easily transmutable through a conscious um, changes in the emotions. So that's the first thing. That is that we have the power to make the changes that we want to make by changing our emotions we can co-create a reality that is that is absolutely fantabulous much much the opposite of, of the Hollywood nightmare hell world scenes that are so often displayed on billboards and in the movies and in, on television and on the internet so we can do the exact opposite of Hollywood uh, we can create un-Hollywood or great Hollywood or the wonderful Hollywood of the past which displays the finer human emotions and the ways in which we can wrestle our way through the negative emotions and back into a positive plane. That used to be the great fort of Hollywood, remember? Way back when. So we have the power. <laughs>